I, are you sure? No. I have your consent, I'm right? I'm not sure. People are not shocked that we're a little messy. Currently, we're actually pretty tidy. <laughs> no, no, okay. I will grab Are you gonna take charge in this episode? <laughs> Okay. Enough with the electric. Roll the opening. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Am. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today, our current topic is going to be electricity. So we hope you've charged your phones to watch this entire episode because we're going to go into Electroplay 101, also known as e-stim or electrostim or putting your finger in the sock. No, don't do that. Actually, don't put your finger in. The Good vibrations. No? No, no. Well, see, that's the big, that's actually a misconception is electro feels like a vibration in your skin, but it's not. It's, it's, a, it's a charge moving through your skin. The other misconception is it's painful and it doesn't have to be. So let's get into that today in our Electro 101 as we show, tell, and hopefully don't shock ourselves too much. How <laughs> come I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for me? <laughs> All right. I wasn't. Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> so, Daddy, what is electroplay? Uh, electroplay is using electricity to cause a sensation or a current to go through your body or topical on top of your body. Now, I'm sure everyone and their mom has those like tens units or almost those massage therapy sorts of things that you put on your body and then it just pulses the muscles. Electroplay is when your muscles are just being stimulated by some sort of toy, whether it's topical and just, just sensational on the surface, or it's actually sending that current in the body. But there are still some things to remember to keep in mind and make sure you're doing safely. So, I mean, today we're gonna just shock our system. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you ever got into Electroplay? Uh, yeah, I think the first thing that was ever done on me was a bondage scene when someone did a violet wand on top of my skin. Okay. That was my first electrical, and it felt very pinpricky to me, and I wasn't used to the sensation, so I was, I didn't like it the first time. Now you said violet wand? The violet wand. Not the violet wand. In fact, four millennia ago in ancient Egypt is where they thought electroplay first started technically because they were using electrified fish to perform therapeutic actions on people. Like electric eels? I, I was not specific about what kind of fish when I was doing my research, but it was something that definitely shocked me. I was I was not surprised though, considering the amount of history we've learned in Cleopatra and her Gorda bees. Yeah, her Gorda bees. She did it. She was into some kinky shit. Thank you, Egypt. <laughs> and when we did our history episode, we even talked about how in the 1800s, electrical boxes were used as, as like this health panacea that was thought to cure everything from like bad gums to hysteria to regrowth of hair. Yeah. Which is why I have a full head. I used to be bald. Hi, bald. And they actually used devices that caused electricity, like static, to be caused by Teslas on the inside. So there's there's no there's no cars in here, but there is a coil that is actually charging this. This is actually a violet wand, as Daddy was saying. Is that where Tesla got its name? Yeah, oh, absolutely. So in 1920, Hi, old. when the first violet wand set was created, we saw them kind of all over the place to cure just about everything. But really, it was just, you know, fun, erotic sorts of play. Mm. Though it, it can be proven that Muscle spasms can help to revigorate muscles and can cause some alleviation to maybe pains and aches. Although that's not what this toy is generally used for nowadays. So E-STEM is just targeting the nerve endings and stimulating the body. With just a little bit of static. And I don't think you can see it super well here in this light, but when it sends that charge, it's actually activating the gas inside there and making Ooh. the static. Woo! Woo! <laughs> It sounds so much more aggressive than it really is, but it really, yeah, it causes just laughter more often than not. You can turn it up to get a bit more stingy and zappy, but if you start at a really low, low level of electricity, it just feels like a little buzzing. I don't even feel that. But the, the same way electricity can go through things that are conducting, and it turns out bodies are really good at that, so too can electric toys. So you have to be very careful about touching metal when you're playing with electro, or if you have like a piercing but my favorite is just slowly turn it up and just make people squirm just a little bit. And this, imagine like down here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 
So static electricity is when there's a positive and a negative charge, and when you're sending that charge between different spots. And that's the big difference between this kind of electricity, static, and other toys we're gonna show, current electricity. And then Daddy here has this wonderful little, it, it almost looks like a comb. It was a comb. It was for doing your head. Here, you wanna? Let's pull it up. Oh, maybe not that high, please. <laughs> start start low on static. Ah! <laughs> but this is really good if you have a sub tied down <laughs> and you want to make them react in all parts of their body. And because it's outside the skin, it is safe. You're not going to injure anything. <laughs> Look, I'm sawing you. <laughs> And the violet one also comes with a bunch of different heads to it. So you have like this little spoon guy, which gives more of a surface area, and this little like pin pointy ball, which can be a little devilish on the highest setting. But I like being able to play with them. I like showing different sensations with this. And it's just a really good beginner level electro play. Now the set's gonna cost you a few couple hundred dollars, but it's a really fun toy. And it has one more peripheral device that's personally my favorite. <laughs> And a lot of the pros that come with electro play is being able to ground your sex life. What is that? This is a grounding rod. So with this toy and the Violet Wand, you can actually ground yourself. So if I like slide this underneath my, my pants here, or you can like slide under a jock strap, now I'm the electro toy. Now you're grounded? I'm, well, I'm, I'm always a little grounded, but we turn this on. <laughs> and it was in this moment that we did not know static electricity could mess with the microphone so much but it's also a great time for you to watch the reactions while I show you a quick difference between static and current electricity. Now we're doing static here, which is all surface level with the violet wand, whereas current is something that's moving from a positive to a negative, which we'll show you next. But before we move on, let's get one last gratuitous montage of daddy squirming to some electricity. Uh, and wouldn't this put you to sleep? I don't know if that would put me to sleep, but you know what doesn't conduct electricity? What? A Helix mattress from Helix Sleep. <laughs> because they are one of the top mattresses for sex. And if you get your sub tied down on a Helix Sleep mattress and you do this, they are going to love you. Now daddy, what is Helix Sleep? Helix Sleep is my favorite premium mattress. But more importantly, because they know everyone's different, they have an amazing way in which you can buy your very own mattress online with their sleep quiz. So we could put in our heights, our weights, different sleeping positions, and firmness preferences. Helix had something that was perfect for me and Daddy in the bedroom. And we got the Dusk Lux, which Daddy now has. And Daddy, how are you enjoying it? I love my Dusk Lux. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Dusk, Dusk, Dusk Lux. Lux. Dusk, Dusk Lux. Dusk Lux. Oh. Dusk Lux. Yep. And since getting our mattresses, I've actually never had sleep that was this good. I had an old mattress that had some springs in it, and because Helix has springs and this lovely like cushioning sensation, they're not only the best mattress for sex, but they're just the best mattress to get a good night's sleep. And before I got this mattress, I had my other mattress for over 10 years. Plus, Helix not only ships to you very, what daddy? Quickly. And when you're ready to really let it inflate. This might make a nice buzzing sound. Daddy, what sound does the mattress make when you open it up? <gasps> ASM, are you ready for comfort? If you've ever bought a mattress, there is that nagging sensation of like, ooh, is this the right mattress for me? I don't know if I like this. So we especially like that they have what, Daddy? A hundred night sleep trial. So over three months for free that you get to try it out. And if you don't like it, you can ship it back and you get a free refund. And don't forget, Helix has a 10 year warranty. Dom's not included, but deals definitely are. Because if you go to Helix Sleep today and use offer code Y, you get up to $200 off your mattress and two free pillows for free. Thank you, Helix Sleep. Ow, 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 ow. So those can be fun. Yeah, and with Electroplay, you can get into those erogenous zones so much easier and, and a little differently. But there's also a lot to keep in mind because this is just static. Again, this is very, very simple stuff outside the body. But there are more varsity level toys, like the TENS units or higher, that go inside, inside the body. You. And they use currents and actual electricity sending a charge through the body. And those are the ones I like. So why don't you go ahead and pull out one of those okay. and we'll start talking about some current electricity and actual e-stim boxes. Ooh, and there's also this sensation like as you play with stuff and daddy's grabbing things like, like that after effect of that buzz and you kind of do build like this tolerance to it, which we'll talk about with the TENS units as well. 
And then as we move to the more intense boxes, there are very low level, very cheap TENS units you can get at just about any sex shop or like wish.com. And then there are the more pricey but very reliable and sturdy boxes like the ones that we have here today. Okay, so I have a box which is a step system. It makes it easy to see in the dark. And then there's also a few that have dials on them. So you actually like knobs and dials. It's, they're pretty much doing the same thing and they all can go pretty high. They all work a little bit differently. And that's what I like about electro boxes. And some boxes will give you like really highs and lows. Some will do more of like a beat system. Some even come with an audio system so you can like turn on a scary movie or play some video games. You could be like hooked up to a toy and just kind of have some different levels of fun with your scary games. <laughs> or if you're playing with two subs and one starts yelling, the other one feels it. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these two pads again. There's a positive and a negative here. So we're sending the charge from one pad here to let's do it right up on your arm. And that way we can see the entire muscle spasm in the arm uh, as we slowly increase. Do a little bit of a little bit of moving. So now daddy here put, uh, put this on and it's already on four. He did not think that through. Make sure you always go to zero on all your toys before you plug anything well, in. She didn't know you were gonna shock me with it. <laughs> Delusion. Are you really that surprised? <laughs> And again, at very low levels, it feels like a little hum, a little vibration. Most people don't even feel it. I'm on three now, daddy might start feeling it a little bit. No. Some people are very, their tolerance can be different. Are you saying I have thick skin? Hey, I, I, you got thick. All right. Oh, I see where this is going. And so I'm gonna keep going up, probably about four or five is when daddy will feel it on this Ooh. box. Oh. And you can kind of see, oh. So right now, he's just on a constant pulse. And so it's going up, down, up, down, up, down. There are others that slowly ramp up. There's different kinds of settings on here that I could try, but I'm just gonna slowly increase. Whoa. Now his whole arm's kind of moving. Do you see that? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go just a little bit more, are you good? Yeah. Make sure you're always checking. Whoa! Whoa! I love you. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> Should I go down? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't hurt. It's just a tingling sensation and it's causing my muscles to go Excited. up and down. <laughs> and so again, make sure you're avoiding any open sores. Make sure Ooh. if you have heart conditions that you do not play with Electroplay Ooh. unless you've been approved by a doctor. And make sure you store your toys properly when you're done with them too. Clean them, make sure there's no batteries inside of it that Ooh. might get worse. I'm gonna go up just a little bit more. <laughs> ah! Okay, okay. Okay, all right, all right. And back down. And then when they, when they say, ah, you might wanna check in or go down. You want to make sure you're not shocking the person and you wanna build up slowly. Now, Daddy is very experienced, and so we built up a little faster. The great thing about electro play is you can get it right to the sweet spot that feels perfect, and you don't want to go past that. Again, as you're doing it, you are building a resistance too. You get comfortable with it, and so you can slowly build up. It starts as a buzz, and then it turns into a convulse, and then it can get a little shocky and stingy if that's your desired appeal. I had a boyfriend once who tried to go to the very end of this box because it was fun and he was hard the entire time. And, you know, after a while, you do get a little numb, so then stepping up to the next level is, feels good. Yes. So Daddy, maybe show me some of your favorite toys for like the box systems and we can talk about like how currents actually work. A lot of people get very scared of Electroplay because they think that it's just about pain, about shocking, but really it's more of this like hum and vibration and the muscle spasming, which gives you this kind of like funny, almost like your, your arms asleep sort of feel mm -hmm. after the fact. And so what I have here are some lovely loops that you can put around certain appendages. And Daddy, what about you? What are your favorite toys? Uh, I like insertables. Mm -hmm. um, so this mm -hmm. goes into a certain orifice of your body. And the great thing about electricity is it causes your muscles to contract involuntarily. So you can imagine what that muscle feels like as it's getting a jolt. And you have these lead wires that come with most boxes that have either pin adapters, which are the very small, or banana, which are a bit thicker. And so you're sending a charge with a current electricity from a positive to a negative spot. Sometimes you can use pads that are like come with a therapy devices, you can use rings, or if the toy has both the positive and the negative in it, it's sending the charge from this positive 
to this negative. So you're feeling it within that muscle. Now, what are some things to keep in mind when you're using these kinds of toys? Well, because it is a positive and a negative, you don't want to cross the heart. So putting a positive and a negative on either side of the heart is a big no-no. Correct. And it's also very important to make sure that you're using the right kind of lubes with Electro. Yes, when you're using an insertable, you don't want to use silicone or an oil-based lube. You want to use a water-based lube. That will conduct the electricity seamlessly. And there's even some that can be used topically versus internally. Like water-based obviously is fine for like your butt plugs and getting things inside the body. But if you're doing something maybe externally, like with say some pads, there's a special kind of gel. And it's kind of an ultrasound gel that they use on the exterior when they do an ultrasound. But you don't want to put that inside your body. You can be really creative with your toys. Again, making sure you don't cross the heart and go above the chest in that way though. So one of the inventive ways you can do it is have an insertable in the back and a loop in the front and you can send the current through the body from the insertable to the loop. And this is one way someone with a prostate can feel like they're having a repeated orgasm. Electroplay in that way could be really creative. You could even put like a pad on the bottom of their foot and a loop on a penis and then you can have fun that way. And again, these boxes have multiple outputs, so you could have multiple subs or multiple toys going and just go to town. They slice, they dice. No. <laughs> they electrify. Well, they do, yes, they do do that. They Julian. <laughs> this one goes deep, deep up there so you can get it right next to the prostate. And because the electro pads are built in on either side, there's an in and an out. It gives you this expansive swelling feeling inside. Now this one is a clip that could be used in different places. And this would be safe because the in and the out are right there and it goes directly in and out right there, not crossing any body part. So that is the only case of above the waist, next to the chest, sort of electroplay that we will say is okay is when it's all specifically kept in that one toy on the nipple. But again, we cannot stress this enough. If you got heart problems or any health concerns, especially, but never, never, never go next to the heart with electro toys, please. Warning, warning, war warning, warning, warning. Like, I don't know if we need to like put like sirens on or lasers, dubstep maybe, just to get people's attention. But as far as safety goes and hot spots on the body, the more sensitive the spot in your body, the more sensual it might be with a little bit of electro. Yeah, some people when they're doing insertables will complain of hot spots and that's because this surface area is smaller than this surface area, but some boxes adapt to that. So this one, you can change the feeling from this one to this one highly advanced. And so when you're looking for fun ways to use these toys, you're gonna to look for the more sensitive parts of the body, those really erogenous zones. And if you're feeling those hot spots get too hot, keep in mind that the more surface area a toy has, the less bitey it is with Electro. Like your ear. No, 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 nah. It's alive, alive. Essentially these boxes are multiplying the volts by the amp and you're getting a watt. How many amps? Too many but just one in this episode. How many amps make a watt? Oh God, I don't know. Uh, I'm bad at math. I didn't go to school for math. But these boxes are what send those charges in and then they send it at a frequency. So like some of these boxes will have different modes, pulse, vibrate, audio. Like what, what does that box say on it? This one has one that's called pulse, flow, mm -hmm. split, bounce, milk, squeeze, tease, Oh. Stroke oh. and torment. And some of these, oh, God, wait, what? what was that last one? Tickle. <laughs> and these sensations the boxes cause do actually feel like a stroke or a tickle or what was that? You said you said something more aggressive. Torment! Ah! Why is that aggressive? <laughs> when you say it like that. Torment! Ah! Now at 0 0.01 watts is when most people feel like a little shock to the toys. At 0.25 is when the millens starts to get affected with the shock. And that's where you actually like, feel it. The millens? The millens. What's a millen? You, the millens, they live next door. <laughs> Are you trying to keep up with the millens? <laughs> the coating of your nerve starts to feel it. That's where you get that shock and you might get excited. Where right around one to four watts is where you get the muscle movement that you felt there a few yeah, seconds ago. Yeah. Are you sure it wasn't on stroke? <laughs> more, more, oh. <laughs> You're not even hooked up, careful. <laughs> At 25 is where you can get the disruptive sorts of things for the heart, so be careful. And at anything over that, maybe 100 to 900, or maybe even 150,000 volts, 
that's where you get the dangerous stuff, so be careful. But all these boxes run off of a nine volt battery, so you're not going that high. Although some of them are USB rechargeable. So depending on what you prefer, you might choose a box like that over a box like that. Have you ever been shocked by a taser though? Um, no, but I witnessed you getting shocked. So I was actually at an event once and we run an electric table at events for Mr. S Leather, which is a company we work with all the time and where you can get all these toys. But I was working and I had my back to someone cause I was helping a person fit on a harness this way. And somebody right where daddy was at came up behind me, had just bought a little taser and just thought it'd be fun to, don't you dare. Should we do a recreation? No, 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 no. Are you no, sure? No. I, I'll do it, I'll do a recreation. Do you want me to do it on you? No. <laughs> I can do, so make sure you do a meteor area if you want like low level intensity. Do you want to try it? Well, no, do you want to try no, it? No, I really don't. And so they came up behind me while I was not even paying attention and thought it'd be funny to just go like, ha ha, because I was wearing a jock strap and my butt was out. And the, the, I don't get mad often, but I turned around and I just said, what the actual f do you think you're doing? And they literally, they literally tased me. Don't ever do, like I have a tolerance for electro and I'm, a, I'm an educator. So like I had patience, but I was just like, why would you do, do, do not ever. And also give me that. Like I took away his toy and I said, no, well, no. it was our toy. Well, it's true, it's true. <laughs> you out, you banned. And it was just, yeah, it was, you gotta make sure people have consent specifically for all things, but this is not a beginner level toy. All right, hit me. <gasps> really? You, you're so excited right now. Okay, ready? Okay, I, are you sure? No. I have your consent, I'm right? I'm not sure. <laughs> Here, move your dumpy up just a bit. Your dumpy? Ah! Jesus. <laughs> okay, now you. No, I don't. <laughs> I feel bad. I see. I'm a, I'm a bad electro dom. I feel bad when people start getting pain. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it felt like someone burned me. And it's like a little. It's like a little bug bite. Bee sting. These are rarely used in erotic play. It's yeah. usually used for the sound and to cause fear in your. Subject. You're doing both of those things right now. Okay. See? See how effective it is? That is why I like it. <laughs> but always make sure you turn off the toy when you're done before you even start unplugging or touching things and just be smart about your toys, regardless of if it's a, a static electricity, you know, like a violet wand. Again, violent, no. Violet. 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 It's a violet wand, like not a, pretty, a violent pretty, pretty wand. flower. <laughs> Whereas this is a violent stun gun. And uh, the boxes are really fun. I really, I just like getting into it because when you see someone trying something new, they just go, oh, you know, and they start feeling their muscles contract. <gasps> And now imagine they contract, but also they ejaculate without even touching themselves. But always make sure you're doing your research, educate yourself before using them and start slowly with electro, okay? Don't just pick up a box and start shocking people. You have to actually learn and watch nice educational videos. Well, it's also a very expensive toy to purchase. So you will start slowly, <laughs> trust me. So if you have any questions about electro, this is a nice entry level 101 to get your orifices wet and conductive. But if you're curious about like 102, 103 style stuff, we're happy to answer any comments down below. And if you like these videos, just zap that bell down below so you get notified when they come up. And whether you're shocking or just being shocked, always have a safe word. And today's safe word is... Ouch! <laughs> That's a terrible safe word. It's a <laughs> very, very terrible. I mean, it's effective, but it's a terrible safe word. And we will see y'all next time. Bye! Bye. Oh my God, you know the only time I've ever seen you that mad when someone did something unconsensual to you at an event mm -hmm. was the time the guy put glitter sunscreen on you by the pool. <laughs> he back. just came up and came Don't by. touch me. Yeah, I, I bet you wish you had a taser oh, then. I, <laughs> Would you have tased him? Do not put <laughs> glitter on people in their nice leathers ever. That is criminal. <laughs> Turn off all the electro toys before I touch my electronics. <laughs> ha! Woo! Ha! Ah!